Hello time travelers! I'm going to be trying different transistors in this fuzz pedal that I built. Transistors are the magic that make the fuzz sound in most pedals. Sometimes it's like op amps, like in this one that I built. This is future me. I've actually painted it since then. I've got some more work I need to do on it, but it was white in the vi video that you're about to see. It uses NPN transistors. Like this is another one that I built and it uses PNP transistors. That just has to do with how the transistor activates, which way the voltage is going through it sort of thing. And here's this other random fuzz pedal that I have. If you see it anywhere, grab it. It sounds delicious. I, I don't know what kind of transistors it takes anyways. And I scoured the internet and got all the transistors I could find that were both popular and available to buy as you know with an out of stock or whatever some didn't exist anymore my goal was to stick to silicon in this one because this one's one germanium and one silicon and it's not always reliable because of the temperature in my room but i happen to have a couple germaniums on stock and those got mixed in as a bonus in the testing during the testing if the fuzz level or the volume was drastically different than a previous transistor. I adjusted a knobs, but I tell you with text on the screen where the knobs are at. I did mod this pedal in a previous video and put the internal trim pots on the outside, but during all the testing, those two are at 12 o'clock. For those that want to geek out about the HFE settings, which has to do with the voltage that activates the transistor, I wrote the HFE number on each bag that the transistors are in, and that's on the screen for you, you guys to check out. I don't have a transistor tester, so I can't tell you the values of each transistor. Uh, someday I might get one of those. I've got these NPN transistors to try because it's an NPN circuit. Show you in a second. That's NPN, that's NPN, other NPN, 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 NPN. The most common one ever used in gu guitar pedals the 2N3904 NPN. BC109C, which is very similar to the 108 that Stu Mac chose to put in here. We'll get to see if they actually sound different. In a previous video, I built the Sun Fuzz guitar pedal kit from Stu Mac, which is a clone of the Sun Face from Analog Man, which was inspired by the Fuzz Face that Jimi Hendrix played back in the late 60s. There's nothing in this box, so toss. Here it is. Don't worry, it's not going to be a forever long video. I'm going to use a looper pedal and just do jump cuts. But tell me, should I do a PNP comparison video? I've got more. I've got a bunch of PNP thingy what's it's that I can try. But this is the original before Arbiter, I think. And the fuzz face pedal switched to silicon because Jimi Hendrix was complaining that his tone wasn't the same every day and they figured out it was temperature because temperature affects germanium but it does not affect silicon i do actually want to try those tell me if you're interested because it would involve possibly getting another one of these kits and modifying it so that the voltage is swapped and one of the capacitors is put in backwards that's the hack to go from npn to pnp and i got these transistor sockets off of mouser i'll show you right now it's right there that's the one i got and they were a little bit too big as in the pins are too far apart, but I just bent them slightly with a tool. Where's my tool? You're in this scene. Anyways, click the card to see the previous video when I built this because you see the tool and I uh, link it in the descriptor what's it's. Without further ado, let's get messing about. And in case this looks a little off to you, I am putting orange knobs on, so the black ones, and I put the internal trim pots for the clean and the bias externally. Those are some mods I did. Oh, don't! See, it's so frustrating. If, you, if I want to turn it over to mess with the knobs, then I have to hold the transistors in with my fingers, but then they stick to my fingers. Lame. Cheapest Squire Stratocaster you can get, the Chinese kind. Uh, it's got Wilkinson pickups. All the knobs are at 10 o'clock, and its tuning is in dad gad. So if it sounds out of tune, it's not. The intonation is only like a tiny bit off because it's a cheap guitar. I did improve the intonation by changing to a guitar fetish bridge. So, mmm! Let's try out my new Shure SM57 mic on my 8 inch combo cab. The volume and the tones are all at 12 o'clock. Reverb's off. So that's my, my gear. And if there's a lot of jump cuts or if I say something funny, 
or the words are out of order. I do that much less often. I just have a really bad head cold right now. So here's my clean tone. <laughs> Okay, turn the pedal on with the BC-108 so you can hear the difference. And that was with, oh, <laughs> that was with the settings I had left from the previous video. So let's do that again with everything at 12 o'clock. I was making it super muddy on purpose. Sorry. As you can see, the BC-108 doesn't have a whole bunch of fuzz, and that's why I had it at the other setting before. So if I take up the fuzz to three o'clock and the bias to three o'clock, I'm actually going to have that for my baseline for the video as a comparison. Let's try a couple of other things just to be sure it doesn't go too far muddy or too far clean. And I have to turn my head all the way that way, and I'm yelling and I don't know why. But I have to turn my head all the way that way because of this terrible head cold, I can't hear out of this ear. All right, that sounds good to me. That's gonna be the settings that we're gonna use for the video. I'm getting my looper pedal set up. All right, I've got my looper pedal set up, obviously starting with the BC-108 and then all the other ones after that. N3904 are super low gain, uh, not recommended in this circuit. I had to turn the volume up to three and the bias is at 12 o'clock. BC549B, and I've got the volume and the bias at 12 o'clock. <laughs> All 
right, we've got the BC549C, volume 12, bias 3. <laughs> Three B X eight one B germanium transistors bias twelve volume twelve. Mm -hmm. Three B X eight one A. Germanium transistors, volume 12, bias 12. Mm -hmm. MPSA06, volume is at 3 o'clock. Bias is at 12 o'clock. So that concludes that range of tests. Now I want to try having the fuzz at the 2 o'clock position. All the knobs are at 12 o'clock, except the fuzz is at 2. I wanted to do this testing because some of the pedals didn't have much of a fuzz tone, if any. just kind of sounded like an overdrive pedal or a dirty boost. Just a warmer tone, at least to my ears. Tell me in the comments what you heard for the first round of tests. Like, which one sounded better or worse or very close to each other or whatever you heard. I, I love to read all this stuff because people hear things differently. So during the second phase, I only tested a few of the transistors. I wanted to see if giving them the 2 o'clock position on the fuzz would give it much more fuzz or not. Because 2 o'clock is like a standard testing position I've seen on a lot of videos. And I turned the volume to 12 o'clock for these tests. BC 108. <laughs> My hearing is messed up because of my cold, but did you guys hear a difference? 
Did you have a favorite? Did you think one sounded grungier or like it had more gain than another one? Tell me in the comments. I'm actually going to sit here and mess around with these some more and try combinations of different ones. So thanks for watching. If you want to see how I built this pedal, check out this video over here. If you want to see how I built the clone of the Analog Man King of Tone, watch this video over here. And you can subscribe to my channel right here. Thanks for watching. See you in the comments.